Hey there everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of Let's Scare Canarium. So last time we came down this extra long hallway. You know, down this thing. And we ended up in here. So we cleared out all the vines. But I don't know what in the world we're doing down here. Creepy. Fanged. Big brain boys. Hmm. I don't know what any of this stuff is about. Oh, so I know we're doing the double episode thing all this week until Sunday. But what I'm going to do is for both No Man's Sky and Canarium, since they're more story driven, I want to focus on the actual story itself. And in order to do that, I don't want to cut out, you know, like, oops, it's the end of the episode, guys. And then you check it out in the next episode and then it just goes up six hours later. I'd rather just do it all in one shot. So I'm going to make this one hour long. Or at least one hour recording, and then I'll just cut out what I don't need. Giant Birdman statue? Interesting. Yeah, it's a cool looking statue. But yeah, I'm gonna make those an hour long. Oh, I'm at the press. Oh god. What in the world? Yeah, I do have to do something up here. What was that I've just seen? What did you see? Even I don't know what you saw. But yeah, uh, like I was trying to say before the thing started getting weird on me. I'm gonna play for one hour. I'm gonna use that as the two episodes. So get an extra long episode today. And again on Sunday. What in the world? That's the entrance. That's where I came from. Hmm. This one's clearly a little more special. What is making that sound? I don't like it. Is it just my feet in the water? Huh. This stonework seems weak. Can I use the axe? Oh yes, I can. Okay. But yeah, so we're gonna have one hour of this and then one hour of No Man's Sky. And I'll just do that for our two episodes of each. I found a secret. What are you? Some Adventure Time Orgalorg looking thing. Metallic flower like object with a pine cone shaped design in the center. The pine cone is often used as a symbol for the third eye and the pineal gland. Huh. I did not know that actually. A little big brain. And spiky teeth. This just does not feel right. Okay. Found different pieces with glyphs on them. Okay. Interesting, I guess. I don't know what they're for. They're there for something important. Well, we're just gonna sprint on out of here. Another axe. I'm guessing if you left the axe on the first floor, you can come back and get this one. Memory boy? Hmm. If I am not mistaken, this relief depicts that 
the overgrown flower we came across at the various points in the cavern uh, can be cleared away with an iridescent device, a tool or a talisman. Curiously, we still haven't been able to find the roots of those plants. They seem to seep out of these caverns by passing through crevices which look as if intentionally made for them. <laughs> what other secrets might these silent halls conceal from us? Hmm. I would certainly like to find out. What was that? Some memory thing? Oh, hi. As we planned, my team will continue exploration through this gateway. Other expedition parties can commence when ready. Man, they're just throwing dialogue at us a lot today. Oh, man. But yeah, you see, this is exactly why I didn't want to be like, oh, well, you know, I'm only going to record for 30 minutes and then stop. It's simple. Hmm. I didn't do anything. Looks like something's missing here. I need something that can fit. Hmm. Oh, these are where these things go. Do they just go in any order? Or is there like supposed to be some kind of pattern that I missed here? I don't. I don't think that was it, Chief. I'm right, gonna leave those there for now. Cthulhu mummies? Getting all funky on me. Oh god, he has the same thing on his hand that I do. I'll take it. Oh god! What the hell? Nope, 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 no. No. No, no, no. No. None of that. So, some guy with the same thing that I had. Don't be another one. Don't be another one. Okay, not another one. Thank God. The giant coin. An ornamental metallic object with an elder sign. A sign used for protection from powerful entities carved on one side of its face. Okay. Found a trophy item. An empty? Think it is? Yes. This one? Okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. Oh god, hi. Hi, memory boy. The same set of symbols we've seen in strangely carved niches all around here matches with what is written in the oldest parchment. I believe uncertainly that they represent a destination towards somewhere significant. So I'm guessing these are the drawings that I needed. 
I'll come back to that later. Alright, let's go this way. I don't want to deal with that stuff right now. Nope, nope, nope. Big fat nope. Anything I can put in here yet? Oh, I can. Something changed. I don't know what. Alright, uh, wait, wait. So those are the symbols that I needed. What's the button for the thing? Oh god, I don't even remember my own controls. What's ah, there it is. Right click. So, I need the L, a nose, an eye, the sun, and the dancers. L, nose, sun. What was it? Okay, so let's just take all these. So. L. Uh, nose. Just like this. I could be wrong. L. Okay, the one with the two poles goes on that side, and the eyeball. That is the eyeball, right? Yeah. Yeah, so that should be okay. So maybe it is. Okay. Big shaking. Big, big, big shake. What was that thing for? Because turning that wheel didn't do anything down here, I think. Maybe it turned the guy up top. Hello? Where are we? Spooky hellscape is this? Oh. Me? It's me. Hey, I saw that third eye thing. For a moment, I thought my reflection in the mirror was about to talk to me. I don't like that. Don't give me that. That's like playing rock, paper, scissors in a mirror, and then all of a sudden you win. None of that. No. And they're not giving me a lot to explore this time around. What? What was that? The radio? Frank, can you hear me? Thank God. Yes, I can hear you. Finally. It seems the effect of the mixture starts to wear off. Frank, heed me carefully. Time is running out. So I must be brief. Where exactly are you? Dr. Faust, is that you? I'm inside the caves below the base. Where are you? Listen. I cannot talk much. I know that you are having trouble remembering, but you must keep going. Use one of the submarines and follow the light. Do you hear me? Come on, please. Where are you? Damn it. The connection is lost. That's unfortunate. He said I have to keep going. Why? Where are they? 
That is one ugly drawing. Sweet Jesus. That's gotta be the thing that we have frozen in the base. It is possible to assume that due to volcanic activities in the Earth's crust, the climate here is humid and temperate, but we don't know exactly whether this is the case. That theory somehow explains the nature of these small scattered fragments of obsidian that are on the cryptic stone wall that welcomes you to entering around the gate. Men of science, we cannot fully grasp the phenomena happening around us. No apparent sign has been left behind, indicating the true mem the true motives of the carvers of these inconceivably old caverns. All I am sure is that of this place holds something strange. Grasping the soil here firmly in both hands gives me a rudimentary sensation it cannot translate into words. Something I'm sure no other mortal man has hitherto perceived. Alright. Were those maze-like tunnels flooded at some point in time, or were they carved underwater? This was what the main debate at last night's meeting, and what Dr. Faust hinted on various occasions, cited from a dark leather book bound dark leather bound book too frightening at least for the ones who could understand the underlying links the megalithic statues the ornate standing stones and the flat areas of polished rock we could see at some points made us think that this place could be a religious temple complex of some sort I cannot imagine what it looked like in its former days now that it lies in ruins barren without any sign of underwater fauna or flora more notes Finished tweaking the submarines one last time, and they're again ready enough for the next uncertain voyage ahead. This time, we will also mark the way with light sources to make it easier for later expeditions. In a short while, all members of the primary underwater exploration party, led by Dr. James Barlow, will head to the next destination, which appears to be towards the mythical entrance towards the legendary netherworld. But again, I wonder what we are looking for something that should not be found. After all I've experienced, read, and studied here, and all those sleepless nights spent discussing the laws of nature and how to bend them, what lies beyond, and how to reach a certain state to see more without eyes, even I cannot help but this journey may easily lead straight to hell, but we have to go through it all to search for answers. Oh, it's more of these guys. I'd make a cool statue, yeah, but I'm not gonna try to keep one in my house, especially so many. Flashlight. Could, could I have, like, gone through the whole game without my flashlight? No, I couldn't have, because they wouldn't have let me even get out the first room. Is there anything else over here? Does not appear to be. Maybe I'm wrong? No? Maybe I'm right? No. Definitely nothing else. Alrighty. So, let's just press on forward. I mean, at this point, I'm not even sure how long I've been recording. Probably like 15, 20 minutes, if that. Are these the little submarines they were talking about? Would you like to get on the submarine? Uh, yes. Okay, this is very weird controls.
Holy Jesus, it's actually kind of kind of cool. Reminds me of Subnautica. Granted, I never got to play it. on the submarine. Holy bananas. slightly here. Well, they hadn't turned to our statues down here too, huh? Actually kind of cool. These ruins are gorgeous, not gonna lie. second. Wow. This is crazy to think that they had all this just sitting under the base. Like, I would be absolutely terrified if I came down here, to be completely honest. I mean, mystified, but also terrified. And curious at all, as to like, what was the point of all this? What was the reason for building something so deep underwater? Especially as humans, or was this place not underwater for a while? And if it wasn't, what made it sink? Like, of course, it could be just something as simple as, oh, rising oceans, it sunk. End of story. There's a tube down there. The lack of sea life is actually a little disturbing. I thought it would actually be kind of cool, but actually a little creepy. Is that a light I see? I can't really tell. is a light, but where is it leading to? Hmm. Well, I guess we're going to just have to go through there, huh? Sorry, Frogman. Hopefully, I don't bump into you. What? Demonic entry, I guess. I don't know whether that should be going lower or higher, but let's just say lower. Oh dear Jesus. Is that where my journey ends? 
Possibly. Ow. Okay. Okay. It's fine. Ship is fine. Just came up a little too quickly. Oh, we're fine. Okay, so now we gotta go this way. I can only imagine what horrific reasons there were to create these weird fish people underwater. Like, I know it's, you know, a thing based on Mountains of Madness, which I've never actually read. And I actually probably should. Like, there, there's so much of this, you know, Cthulhu-verse. I know there's an actual name for it, I just can't remember it. You know, the Lovecraftian Horror-verse. Like, there's so much to it, and... Ah, crap, wrong button. And... You know, like, this is probably why I'm not getting some of these references. Like, there's probably references to things in here that I just don't understand. Okay, there's another light. But I wish I could know... Like, why all this stuff happened. Another one. Let's go up and not die this time. there another light definitely not that way I guess I'm gonna have to go this way I would assume go over these. What in the world are those? I don't know, but I don't actually want to touch them. It's actually kind of cool that, you know, the devs include the blue bioluminescent lighting down here. Oh god, what? What now? What? What? What the hell? Um... Okay. What was that about? What stopped me? I, I need answers to these questions. God, whatever that is, it's going through there. Wait, this looks like the entrance again. Was it that ornate, or did I just go in a big old circle? Okay. 
Oh god, oh god, oh god, what is that? What is that? No, 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 no! What is that? What? Did I just get attacked by, like, the Kraken? Uh, okay. And usually they tell you not to walk towards the light, but... Oh. Huh? I'm back here again. What in the world? Why am I back here now? Locked. Okay. I don't remember if I was in this guy's room before. Wait, yes I was. This is the, the room that had the, the creepy brain thing. Okay. Wait. Gener generated voices outputted to speakers. Incoming power needed to be regulated by the device on the loop. Auditory and visual data are fed to the main system by the primary filters. It is possible to feed the machine with an actual human brain. Ancient sources speak too secretive about this. Based on the writings of R. Bacon and Wolfgang von Kepler, I will try to improve on the machine. Huh. Delta E equals P over sigma. What? Interesting. So those are the plans to build the machine, but it's before the machine was built. Okay, well, let's... so like, did I go into the past? Like, there's the machine right there. In fact, there's the head. And that's the, the power regulator thing. Wait, so if this is the past, maybe my room door is open. Okay. Wait. Locked. Still can't enter my own room. Dr. Faust? Okay. Stuck. The King in Yellow. This is stuck. Is there something I can maybe grab? Phonograph cil cylinder. There's gotta be something I can do with that. Lever Ionis. Or Ivonis. Gotta be something here that I can use to open that, right? Old school alarm clock. Oh, that's the leather bound book. Unausprechlich Klut. Or Kult. Kult. Uh. You know what? Uh. Let me just, uh, bust out the Google Translate. So it's a fictional book of arcane literature in Cthulhu's mythos. The book first appeared in the short stories Children of the Night and the Black Stone as Nameless Cult. Like in the Necronomicon later, it was mentioned in several stories by H.P. Lovecraft. Un ausprechlichen Kulten. Un ausprechlichen liche Kulte. I'm sure I'm butchering that. So, uh, I'll have my friend check on that one. Can I change that? 
a phonograph cylinder of the song Chacon in D minor by Bach. Okay, I'll take that. That was a trophy item. Two days ago, Frank most probably could have reached the intended time period. Among all the Canarianoffs, he is the most, how should I say it, gifted. But unfortunately, his heart ceased beating all of a sudden. This was most unfortunate, because when he came back, he doesn't remember anything specific. I believe there is no other way than increasing the intake dosage of the mixture. Very dangerous, but this seems the only way to raise the time limit and awareness in the sessions. It's stuck. This has got to be important. It won't open. There's got to be something I could do to open that. Okay, Dr. Faust's note on the stopping of my heart. The power of this place, I believe, is too strong for the mind and the body. At least it disorients the feelings, bodily functions, and even more so the powers of judgment. Nevertheless, I didn't expect or even prepare for what happened during the session we held two days ago. Frank was not able to rise from the deep. Still, what strikes me most is his contorted look and his speech when he came back to life. It was only subtle, but I was able to detect. Doubtlessly, a revulsion of feeling was apparent in his countenance. Contessence. There was something unnatural, something bizarre behind his marbled eyes. It seems that he saw the deepest time frame we had been searching for for a long time. I cannot be so sure that his consciousness may have been hiding the flow of communication, but it is still highly possible. His speech, even though it was almost discernible, seemed awkward and foreign. The pronunciation of his was barbarously alien, and his diction had a curiously, curiously stilted quality. Beyond any doubt, the speaker was not frank. I tried to speak to him, but he seemed unaware of me kept looking at a certain point in the wall. When I discerned from his speech, it was a long dead language that only a few people know today, including myself. Disease, or diseases. So I was the sole person who understood what he had said, and that I would keep it that way until everything settled. The past two nights, Frank has woken up screaming, covered in a cold sweat, unable to remember the concepts of his dreams. The things that caused him to scream intensely enough to render Mr. Barlow speechless. I will consult PK about this as soon as possible. Okay. More stuff about my nightmares. There's gotta be something in here that'll let me into that box. Come on. My senses are tingling. I can feel it. Alarm clock. Where would you hide a key? The yellow king. Nope. Down there. Not in there. It's not in the drawers, not on the floor. Can I turn off this light? No. Hmm. Okay, maybe I'll look that up later. Still can't go in my room. That means there's something else I could do here, and it's gotta be something to do with that box. Barlow's room is locked. Blake's room is open. Maybe there's something I could do in Blake's room that'll let me do something in that room. Okay, so I've looked up just about everything there's nothing that I can find that says anything about opening this box right now. So we're just going to have to leave. Because I don't think there's anything left for us to do in here. Oh, hey. Another doorway. Um, excuse me? A lake of blood? Hello? Where am I? Uh, how did I get here? When? 
this place is new. Expedition parties. Is there anyone who can read me? One person is dead, and two others have been injured by the partial ice cave collapse. There is something here with us. Do not come through our expedition route. I repeat, do not come through our expedition route. Yes, I read you. This is Frank. For God's sake, what happened? And please, tell me where I can find you. Frank, do not stray from your path. We have come across something... terrible. Do not come here through our expedition route, no matter what happens. It looks like this fiendish netherworld. Depends on some kind of energy. An energy that is stored in curious stoneworks similar to an obelisk with crystals on top. And they are able to clear away some of the strange plants. Dr. Faust? Dr. Faust? Oh, come on, not again! This is nonsense. I cannot understand what is going on. Alright. I think this will be a great place to end off this game today. So, we will leave this off here, guys. It was quite a bit longer than I normally do for Canarium. So, we did a lot. I don't know where in the world we ended up, but we're underground somehow. He said, don't take their path, so uh, let's avoid that, shall we? Other than that, guys, this is the Afrolad signing out, and I hope to catch you all here next time on Let's Scare Canarium, where hopefully we get to the end of this mystery. If you liked today's episode, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed, and join the Curly Crew, and I will catch you all here next time. I hope you all have a great and wonderful day.